In this tutorial we're going to look at a few of the surface operations, um, specifically the extrude surface and offset surface. So let's go ahead and create a curve in Rhino. And this could be any kind of curve. This could be a curve that you make in Grasshopper. It could be closed, it could be open. Any kind of curve will work. We'll then bring that curve into Grasshopper and then use our extrude component. So the extrude is located under surface utilities. And you can see there's also extrude along. So if you want to extrude along a, um, a, a curve, you can do that or a path. You can extrude linear. You could also extrude to a point. So we'll plug our curve into um, the base here, the profile curve to extrude. We'll choose a direction. So in this case, we'll just uh, extrude it vertically. And then we'll do a slider for the amount. One is less than 50.00. And then you'll see that as you toggle that, it will extrude the surface that distance. You can always cap holes and cap this if you want to make it a solid that you might want to Boolean. Um, the other thing we can do is um, create a surface offset. So let's go into our front view. We'll create two curves. And then we'll just go ahead and quickly loft these curves in Rhino. And then we'll bring this curve into Grasshopper. And then let's go ahead and hide it in Rhino. And so to use the offset component, just type in offset. We're going to do offset surface. This is located under surface utilities offset surface. And so we can plug our surface into the surface and then choose a direction. Again, we'll use unit Z. And then we can choose an amount. So I'll do another slider. One is less than. 50.00, plug that into my Z, and then you can offset. If you want it to offset in the other direction, you can actually flip the surface. So if you add a flip component, which is located here under Surface Utilities Flip, you can flip the surface before you do the offset, and then we'll offset in the other direction. So that's a good way to you know change the direction of the offset. Um, the last thing you can do is once you have the surfaces, you can take both of the surfaces and deconstruct them. So we'll deconstruct both the offset surface and the original surface. And then once you have the edges, you can do a join curves component. And join curves will take all of the edges that are coming out of here. So if we just do a curves component, you can see that we have the edges of that. Let me go ahead and preview some of this off. Um, here we go, there are the edges of that surface. And I can do the same thing for this one below. You don't have to use this curve container, but sometimes it's nicer because you can um, preview off the deconstructed B-Rep and then preview on the curve so you only see the curves. We can also preview off this original one. So that gives me the curves, and I'm going to just change this amount so that it's not, you can see it's overlapping there, which will produce uh, an edge that I'm not happy with. So I'm going to take both of those. And then we're going to merge these just to keep them organized. You don't have to do the merge. That's totally fine if you don't. Um, but it just makes it easier. I prefer to do it whenever I am in, uh, plugging in multiple components into one input. So I'll plug those into the loft. And then um, we need to right click. And you can see that um, it actually lofted all the curves together. And so one thing you have to do once you um, deconstruct it is you actually have to join these curves. So I'm going to join this curve here, and I'll join this curve here. And so that will turn it from, if I bring a panel out here, um, from a series of segments, which is what's coming out of here, to one joined closed curve, which is coming out here. So whenever you do a loft, you don't want to loft all those segments together. You want to loft the joined curve. So I'll plug that into D1, that into D2, and then, and then you can see we're having one issue where it's lofting kind of um, um, in a strange way. And so we can trace that back to the beginning where I flipped the surface. And so the surface that was pointing in one direction, and then we flipped and it's pointing the other direction, which is causing a little bit of an issue with the loft. So what we can do here, instead of using the flip surface to um, create the edges, if we plug in this surface into the deconstructed BRUP, you can see it then fixes that, and then it keeps it um, uh, within the same data tree so that it allows that to work correctly. So we'll talk a little bit about data trees and list management later, but just make sure, you know, if you're having a weird issue 
with a loft, you can oftentimes fix it by just trying, you know, to plug in uh, different um, objects into the components that you're using, um, and usually it kind of solves itself. Um, so then, if we turn this on, if we preview this one on, and preview on the offset surface, we then get a solid um, from that offset surface. And of course, this is all parametric, so you can change that by changing the slider.